We got John Jones, the light heavyweight king, now heavyweight king, going up against the former heavyweight champion and Stipe Miocic, who holds the title for most defenses by a heavyweight in UFC history. These two are going to be squaring off in Madison Square Garden in a bout that, you know, some people will say is not their favorite. They don't love it. Uh, they think maybe somebody else should be in there with Jones. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Cry. Cry. I don't care. Motherfucking John Jones is the GOAT. Arguably one of the greatest fighters to ever uh, partake in combat sports. Uh, but definitely in the UFC in specific. To everybody who, you know, is a Jones hater, says he's ducking Aspinall or, you know, thinks that uh, he's foul if he, you know, goes with fighting um, Pereira or just, you know, uh, rides off into the sunset, you know, y'all just, y'all, y'all ain't familiar with John Jones. That's, that's just pretty much what it comes down to. Tom um, Aspinall can't carry John Jones as a jockstrap. No, he can't. He can't. And I told people, I believe you and me had a conversation about this, and I'm sure, sure you can go back and check it out. I said Jones was not going to give Aspinall the time of day, and I believe it's mostly in part due to just respect. And I feel like, like I said, Aspinall don't need to be like an ass kisser, but the way he let the public, you know, basically – goad him into talking down on John Jones, which I get it. Maybe Jones is new to the heavyweight division. Maybe he doesn't have the accolades in the division that he has had in the light heavyweight division, but he's still y'all, he's still the champ. He beat the guy who was considered the, you know, top contender at that time. Uh got it done. And yeah, Aspinall technically is next in line, but we're talking about a dude's legacy here. We're talking about, you know, a guy who, if if that 12-6 elbow uh, rule change was around back then, he'd be fucking 28-0 right now. You know, and really, if, if you know and have been around the game like I have, you know that that fucking defeat doesn't matter anyway and that he is undefeated and that, you know, outside of, certain asterisks against certain victories and things like that. He is the greatest. And I mean, you can't take that away from somebody, no matter what you want to say. Like if, if he wins this fight and decides to call it hey, more power to him. If he decides he wants to fight Alex Pereira instead of Tom Aspinall, more power to him. I really actually hope that does happen. Me too. And I, I understand it because Pereira had respect. You know, he said that, you know, yeah, a fight with John Jones would be dope. But to be honest, I'd just like to train with a legend like that. And it's, yeah. and it's not because he's fucking kissing ass. It's because he understands. Yeah. He understands, like, what he's talking about here. He's not being a clout chaser, in my opinion. You know, that's all Tom Aspinall's trying to do is, is gain some clout. I get it. He is the, the, the young up-and-comer in the sport book. What has he accomplished in comparison to John Jones? What has he done uh, for the UFC, you know, that John Jones hasn't? Yeah. And I, I just I don't think he's – that's going to be a high – sell. I mean, if they did it in the UK, it might be a high-selling fight, but it's not – I know it's a fight that people are calling for, but it's not one that, like, if you are a true fight fan, you really give a shit about. Mm -hmm. um, Jones Pereira, jo though? Jones Pereira? Absolutely. I want to see that. Jones Peloton? All day. But, like, like Asma, great. I mean, I'm sure it would be a, a decent fight. Yeah, I'm sure he'd um, give Jones a run for his money and possibly could win. I'm not, I'm not saying he isn't fit for the job. I just feel like his approach was fucking horrible. It was. I, I can ag agree with that. And again, I would rather see Peloton anyway. Well, well folks.